If you're enjoying these videos, you can learn more and support this work by getting my book on practical evolutionary algorithms. It's a practical ebook that teaches you everything from the concepts to how evolutionary algorithms are implemented in practice. All the code examples are in Python with Python notebooks for each section. You'll have unlimited updates when new sections are released. And of course, you'll have access to these supplementary video tutorials. Check it out by clicking the link in the description below or by visiting store.shahinrastami.com directly. You can also subscribe to this channel or follow me on Twitter for updates. In this video, we're going to have a look at populations in objective and decision space. In single objective problems, the objective is to find a single candidate solution which represents the global optimum in the entire search space. Multi-objective problems often involve conflicts within multiple objectives, and as a result, it's unlikely that there exists a single optimal solution. Therefore, the solution to a multi-objective problem cannot be a single candidate solution, but instead a set of candidate solutions which represents the optimum trade-off surface in the objective space. This set is referred to as an approximation set, as it is an approximation of the theoretical optima. Throughout the optimization process in an evolutionary multi-objective optimization algorithm, a population of solutions is iteratively subjected to various operators until termination, at which point the final population is determined to be the approximation set. We can introduce and describe these concepts through a demonstration by generating a population of decision variables and using the ZDT1 test function described in earlier videos as the objective function. Here we have ZDT1 implemented in Python from an earlier video. We'll describe these concepts mathematically and then implement them using Python. Let's begin by defining a population of size 50, where each solution is made up of 30 decision variables. Each variable is going to fall between 0 and 1, and there'll be only two objective values. This is easy enough in Python as we are just assigning some numbers or lists to some variables. Let's initialize our population with random variables. You can see we're using np.random.uniform and passing in our lower boundary, our upper boundary, and the size of the matrix we expect to be returned. Let's have a quick look at the first five solutions just to have an idea of what's being generated. Now, let's use this population in the decision space to take each solution to the objective space by calculating their objective values. In this Python code, we're simply looping through every solution and passing in its problem variables into the ZDT1 objective function. It's going to return the objective values, which we're going to assign to Y. At the end of this Python code, we're going to convert all of our objective values to a data frame and again show the first five solutions, but this time in the objective space. Finally, let's use Plotly to visualize each of our 50 solutions in objective space. If you're following this code yourself, you'll realize that this visualization is completely interactive. You can zoom in or out and switch solutions on or off using the legend. For completeness, we may also wish to visualize our 50 solutions in the decision space, although it's not very useful at this point. As you can see, it's a bit messy. In this video, we covered how to generate and visualize a population in the objective space and decision space. We did this using the ZDT1 synthetic test function according to the specified population size and dimensionality of the objective space and decision space. You'll find many different styles of mathematical notation employed to describe populations in the evolutionary algorithm literature. However, you should be able to understand them if you learn the ones described in this section. If you're enjoying these videos, you can learn more and support this work by getting my book on practical evolutionary algorithms.
It's a practical ebook that teaches you everything from the concepts to how evolutionary algorithms are implemented in practice. All the code examples are in Python with Python notebooks for each section. You'll have unlimited updates when new sections are released. And of course, you'll have access to these supplementary video tutorials. Check it out by clicking the link in the description below or by visiting store.shahinrastami.com directly. You can also subscribe to this channel or follow me on Twitter for updates.